Oh, yep. Whoa, dude. Dude. What just happened? That is so neat. That is so incredibly neat. Come here. Whoa, did you see that damage? Absolute insanity. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here with Ark Omega! Having so much fun doing flips! My goodness, how's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well, because me, I am doing so very fantastic for so many reasons. Let me tell you. First of all, the update in Omega dropped, and we can finally, again, use the Gene Splicer. This is the uh, device that basically you can make hybrids as well as do unique breeding. Very, very important. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot today. So that's pretty cool. Um, couple of uh, important things to point out too. Check out this greed. Yeah, this is something that our friend Mad Dog was able to snag up and is letting me borrow. And uh, pretty epic stats, right? Yeah, it is pretty insane. Um, but this is what is used to breed with... Our special UD. What was his name? Uh, we called him Dark Star. It's uh, Nova Strike. That's right. So pretty cool. So I'm hoping uh, we may not hatch them all today, but because in Omega, you can only do one, pretty much one breed per day, unless you use other uh, things to speed it up. It's still, you're not getting that many. So we're going to have to do likely a lot of breeding. We may not get the one we want on the first try, but we will do our best. So that's all that matters. I've already done a couple of breeding because we're not doing just uniques today. Um, I went ahead and bred these two spiders together. Yeah, this is the two disruptors we got and they have a little bit different stats. It's not much, but hey, it's free to breed them. So why not? So depending on what we get from that, we'll determine... You know, who's going to breed with the scorpion here so we can get the Uraniuscorpus. I'm doing the same thing over here with our two frogs. They're, they're a little bit different in stats. I want to be able to pass them both over. This is higher melee. That has higher health. So, pretty cool. Anyway, um, yes, I just realized, though, I do need to wait for... Let's see. So, we've got Ultimate Disruptor Egg. And we've got Colossal Bezo Buffalo Egg. The rest of these are our compies, our potion ones that are breeding in the background. We'll get to those. But I do believe both of these still have... I always forget about this. Because normally we have our breeding a little bit faster. But we still have another three minutes until those are ready. So we'll do the best that we can. But anyway, guys, just want to remind you if you're enjoying the series to show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Also, be sure to check out the Discord. That's right. Link is in the description. Come be part of the Mac Pack. I'm in there every single day. And don't forget also, if you want to play along with us, we do have the member server, which uh, is for YouTube members or Twitch subscribers. Both are welcome. But we have a map on both Rag and, and Fjord. So pretty cool for Omega. And then later this week, we'll be opening the new Patchwork Dragons one as well. So yes, three different servers you have to choose from. It's a lot of fun. And all the guys that have been invited over here that I play with, they all came from the member server. That's how I met them. So yeah, pretty fun times. Who knows? Maybe one day it could be you. Anywho, I think our eggs should be just about ready. So I will meet you guys back once that is the case. All right, they should be about ready. So let's check it out. Let's toss one right there. That's going to be our froggy frog and one right there. That's going to be our spider. So hopefully it still reaches. Yes, it does. All right, here it goes in under 10 seconds. Yeah. Oh, look at the little frog. Very sweet. 
All right, let's go ahead, scoop them up. Bada bing, bada boom. Love it. And what do we end up with? So beta disruptor, I'm going to have to upgrade this guy. And oh, no, it came out. Is that oh, I think we ended up getting so it, it could be worth it to continue to breed, but we got to wait and I don't really want to wait. So that being said here, can I borrow your saddle, bro? Can I borrow your saddle? That being said, I think we could just spend the Paragons. Uh, we've been farming a lot for these guys, and I think we could afford to just do it. That way, we don't got to wait, you know, because with time, you can get the Paragons. Anyway, um, yeah, not bad for both of them. Let me make all the upgrades. All right, let's do it. Let's get our very best frog. Oop, what am I doing? What am I doing? Up to Omega. That way, the hybrid we get will be a guaranteed Omega. So in the long run, you know, we'll we'll save on stuff. So there you go, bro. Next for our little Arrhenio. Bada bing, bang, boom, and done. And come on, update. There we go. Awesome. So we really need a new disruptor, and we have the loads and loads of the spider paragons um and scorpion ones for that matter so it's very possibly the disruptor that could be good but also potentially could get up to max as soon as possible so i think it'll be fun too plus i just love these guys so anyway we've got these ones done bada bing bada boom uh let's start to get all the hybrids made all right, let's do this. So, 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 um, got everybody positioned. I want to make sure that they're close enough for this uh, apparatus to be able to read it. For the non-uniques, we're going to need to use uh, shards. I'll be honest, I can't remember which, so I grabbed them both. Um, Let's first do, let's see if I can find Omega Disruptor Arrhenio. Okay, and then select male. That is going to be Omega. Where's the spider? I mean, excuse me, scorpion. All right, now with this one. Are you kidding me? It's not fixed yet. What the crap is what it is. So why don't we move on? Hopefully the uniques work. Let's go find out. All right, so next up is uh, the... Let's see here. So that one won't work. Hopefully it's just the seventh variant ones, um, which would leave us with, let's just see. We have a lot of guys, uh, not groggy man, rubble rock star. Okay. That's who we want. And then there it is. Epic. All right. 28 soul shards. All right. Cool enough. So it is soul shards. That's what you get from just grinding Omega souls, boss souls or God souls. All right. Here it goes. Boom. Oh, I heard a little croak. Can I can I pick it up? Somebody gonna give it to us? I I heard I heard Zay croak. Let's see, maybe this picked it up already. No. Crap nuggets, where is it? Alright, so who should have been this dude? Please tell me you're not bugged too. It says that he bred, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. It went somewhere. I just don't know where. Um, let's carry on to the next one. This has happened to me quite a few times. Um, the last time this happened like that, uh, when I did the next uh, lay, it actually two eggs popped out. So don't know. All right, next up, our firecracker. Let's go ahead and get our firecracker up to Omega. This is for the unique Compi Soldier. All right, so I don't know how many Paragons it's going to take. Let's just go ahead and boost in and see what happens, because this guy actually would not be a bad guy to assist in doing the saddle boss and such. So having him, uh, you know, with plenty of Paragons, fine. Plus, we might need to do this more than once. This guy, however, is our new best solar, and we are going to get up eventually to Paragon a hundred no matter what so we can just dump in all of them 100 percent for sure 
sweet and is why I'm using this one. In fact, let me just double check. This one, 32, 51. Yeah, so it ties for health, but it's got the highest melee, which is pretty epic. And let's go select female. That would be solar. All right, select male. That would be firecracker. Boom. And this one, it's going to take out nine and nine. So I put in one extra. Anyway, here we go. Boom. Ha ha, we have got an egg. All right, next up, we have the bulldozer. Remember we tamed, I think last episode. Let's go ahead and boost bulldozer up to Omega. And that is going to go with Scarab, who we also did last time. So that will make the, what is it? The rhino beetle or something like that. Very cool. And you know what? Why don't we just do this for all of them? Gargoyle is done, but we need to put paragons into them. Metallica, blast from the past, bro. Let's get you up to Omega. Beautiful. And we'll find out what we need to breed with them. Uh, Froggy Man, I have filled, filled with paragons. We're probably going to want to level them up anyway, but we'll find out what we need. And let's also do the new uranium, which is our best uranium. Better than the last one. Next up, greed. Let's get our greed. Our greed is already a prime. Absolutely epic. This is actually the one I'm most excited about today. All right. Next up, we have darkness. Nova strike. Let's get you up to Omega. And we'll find out how many paragons it's going to take. I'm going to say, I'm going to guess it's going to be at least like, at least five. We'll go a little bit higher just in case. All right. Got all the rest of the paragons in. Let's go ahead and get them done. So Nova Strike and let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's clear this out. Let's go back. Let's go back. Metallica and gargoyle boom got it and next up let's choose who do we have dark star all right that's nova strike who is going to go with greed and boom beautiful and i think oh oh can't forget let's do the froggy man one um let's see uranium which will go with Froggy man. Boom. Awesome. All right. Let's see how many of these guys actually laid eggs that we're supposed to. All right. You're seeing a couple of them. Do we get them all? All right. Not bad. Let's get them all uh, in here. And that's our Omega Solar. Oh. It worked. It worked from before. It, it ended up going in here. All right, sweet. We now have to go ahead and do the best egg for all of them. Awesome. So out of all these, I am going to pick out the ones that actually ended up being our better stats. And those will be the guys that we actually play with today. So pretty cool. Whereas the others will have to breed again and see about tomorrow. All right, I went and checked all the stats. I also uh, put in the extra Paragon into the Beetle so we could get the uh, Beetle Rhino going on as well. Um, but I checked all the stats and it ends up we only got the perfect ones that we want on our UD Theory combo and on this one. Yeah, the Gargoyle with Ironhide. So pretty sweet. We actually did get it on the Froggy Man one too, on the Battle Toad. We're gonna wait until Froggy Man's around to uh, let him patch that one. I think it should be pretty cool. Dozer and the Solar one. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to do again. We did not get the best stats. They're still usable, but we could do better. Anyway, that all being said, let's go ahead and let's do this hybrid and this hybrid. Awesome. So these ones did really, I just care about the health and the melee. The rest of the stats don't matter. Oh, dude. Weird. All right. So apparently it takes the, th it looks like it's the fairy body. I don't know now. They look so funny when they're babies. 
Let's go ahead, pick them both up. Maybe that was the UD body. Let's see. All right, so Warthog. Epic. Wow, that's pretty weird looking. Okay. And... Wow. They are so weird! I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. So this actually is the uh, correct body, right? All right. So we got that one and we got that one. All right, good. I, I made the saddles beforehand just in case. That is so weird. So really sad face. All of these guys had such amazing looking like, you know, skins and whatnot. Um, unfortunately, none of them got passed over. Really sad face. Really wish the mod author would uh, fix that. It really kind of takes away from doing the uh, special hybrids, but at least all the specialness of them, their typing is still there. So we now have a rampage knockback. And uh, yeah, this guy is crazy strong. So um, that's going to be, I think, six and six. So a 36 times, I believe. And then Overlord Colossus. Also kind of cool. Very, very nice. So um, that being said, let's go try these guys out. Let's get them leveled up. I'm super excited. All right. I got a whole bunch of Paragons all fused together to try out on both of these guys. So super excited about that. that. The Chalidon which is called the Warthog. Pretty cool. So um, this guy does have a unique saddle. So we're going to want to save back some of these. I do have more if I need it. I do have more, but let's try and do it with this for now because I may want to use some of them on their parents. You know what I'm saying? So we have it up to 20, which should be more than sufficient to take on the saddle god and hopefully get it up to ancient. Whereas this one does not yet have the saddle god. I was just checking that just now. So for this one, we don't got to save those extra five. And let's, we can get it all the way down to where it just needs to for the ancient and the god cool all right bada boom let's save those back bada boom bada boom epic all right let's take them both for a ride let's first go ahead pick them up just to refresh them oh oh give me all right all right we good we good all right um let's go out on the theory first why not so this one is at paragon what it say 25 so kind of interesting um it's getting the colossus whereas it lost the cosmic type but kept the colossus on one the other one it got the uh the overlord so we'll wait for all that to happen wow look at the damage i probably should have tried it before putting paragons in just to fully judge but oh man it's it's kind of weird it's kind of weird looking <laughs> All right. Um, it does harvesting just like a theory does. So that's pretty crazy. Let's see. Right click. It does the UD roar. That's pretty cool. And then X summons in a bunch of minions. And C does the other one. I didn't pay attention to the stomp if they all happened at once, but it's kind of cool having a whole bunch of minions running behind me. Good God. We good? We good? Amazing AOE. Yeah, I think this is pretty cool. I'll be completely honest with you. I like this guy. I think it's really good. Now, the big downside, though, is it does not yet have a saddle. So, you know, it will be somewhat limiting. Oh, crap. There's a druid something. Jeez, he peeds. But yeah, not bad. Now, how are we doing? That's enough to get it to max in both the melee and in the health. So let's go ahead and do that and then switch up to the next one. All right, we are... 
Yes, Max out. Well, at least in the stats that matter. And good God, hitting for some pretty good damage and yes it does do the colossus slam at the same time as it summons in the minions wow and uh yeah pretty good damage for just 20 paragons so or 25 i guess i should say but still look at that it's crazy it's so goofy though it, it looks like a giant chicken doesn't it very silly all right, well, that's this guy, and I'm pumping the one stat we didn't get as well in is food, so I'm making sure. any I do food anyway, but I'm making sure to do lots into food. So pretty sweet. Pretty sweet indeedy. Um, let's go ahead and try out the Chaladon. All right, riding the unique Warthog Chaladon. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's go. 16,000, not bad to boot. And let's see, what else? That was the left click, right click. It does a rock throw, cool. I, of course, missed there. And then once our timer is done with the cooldown, we'll get Rampage. Now, this guy already has knockback built into him. That's what the secondary ability is. Ooh, look at that, not a bad harvester too. What the crap is going on there? My goodness. All right, let's go, bro. Let's get this rampage up. We ready for it? Yikes, look at all that. All right, and... Rampage. Yeah, so with rampage... Oh, we can't harvest. Oh, that's super annoying. All right, that becomes annoying being a rampage type when he can't harvest, but you know, it is what it is. It doesn't really matter. Oh, already 46 now. And again, mind you, this is without me putting tons of levels in. Of course, that happens, and it wastes all my timer for the rampage. Stupid thing. All right, we're back down to 100. All right, come on. Let's go. Get the rampage up. All right, it might have already ended, but you get the point. You get the point. What the crap is going on here? Let go. Let go. So annoying. All right, come here. Can I hit anybody with that? I want to see what it hits for. Oh, not bad. Oh, very cool. Oh, we got an alpha raptor, a wood raptor here. Come here, bro. Come take some of that. Nice. Hey, Lego, Lego. Jeez, all the loot guys today. All right, well, I think it's pretty cool. It's Oh, it's because I'm pressing the G. I don't know why you can pick up things while you're mounted. That that doesn't seem like it should be a thing. But apparently it's a thing. Come here, bro. Bumps! Oh, wow. All right. Let's go and do a rampage in the water. Oh, and let's also pump up. Ooh. You know what? Let's first pump in the levels so we can get to max attack. All right. Let's try out our rampage with max attack. Yeah! All right, 29, 48, keep going. 70s, come on, keep going. 178, we're up to 103. All right, you, dude, just look at this. So, 23 million, this is pretty crazy. 74 million, wow. Oh, of course I'm frozen now, but you get the point. Now that's in particular is awesome when you're taking on bosses that you have to hit for a long time. You're pretty much always at max rampage. So yeah, very, very cool. And I think could potentially be pretty good. This guy does have a very nice multiplier. It would have been better if it was like brutal. I think brutal rampage, but I'll take knockback rampage. That is, that is still cool in my book. Anyway, range page has ended, but a new rampage has started. Oh, you can go bowling with them too, and that does big damage. All right, um, we should have these guys everywhere that we need to be for level. So next, why don't we go take on the gods? All right, first up, let's go take on Titan's gods. Yup, so we're going to do two at a time. 
let's first go ahead and get our protector bubble on. This will help us out ever so slightly. We now have an ancient copy which will feed uh, stamp potions so that our racer is always full. And then we have this cool little guy. Yeah, it's not. I don't even have levels into him. Nothing. We made him into an ancient, but yeah, it's uh, it's really nothing all that big of a deal. But because of the saddle, it'll do curses for us. So it'll just make it that much easier for us. Anyway, but it can't actually hit or do damage. Let's go ahead. Let's see if this cracker will work for both. Will it? Will it? Yeah! All right, so all I have to do is have one little part of myself in the bubble, and that will work for us. All right, look at that! Dude, very cool. All right, so um, this guy being a uh, mythical group, too, it did the Gorgon for us, and apparently that worked. That's pretty cool. All right, well, let's use one of them to become... Godlike, and then we got to go back to the base and use the other to become ancient. So cool enough, but for now, that's all we got to do with this one. Let me set up for the next. All right, same deal, except this guy only has 20 paragons versus the 25 the other one had. We're still saving the other paragons we have for the saddle god. All right, let's hope that worked. All right, now it would have been nice if I had my cooldown all the way before doing this, but you know, is what it is. Come on, guys. Get over here. No, don't, don't throw that. Don't throw that. Dude, come on. See, it can't get us. It's uh because of the protection bubble. Isn't that epic? As long as there's stamina in our Megatherium. All right, let's go. And let's get, ooh, one down. Rampage! Let's go, bro! Get wrecked! See how it goes up and up and up. Come on. Be nice if he could attack faster. 200. There we go. Beautiful! All right, those fights are done. So we're going to do the same thing, but we are going to then take on the ancient variant. Let's go ahead, though, in the meantime, and make our warthog godlike. All right, sweet. Let me go make the uh, ancient stuff, and we'll be right back. All right, that last fight made me a little bit nervous. It, it, I mean, it wasn't bad, but it, it took a little bit longer than I thought. So I'm going to go ahead and merge more paragons for this guy. So we can get it up to a nice even 30. Because remember, we gotta take on the Saddle God too, which, you know, is no joke. So I think the Ancient First will be just fine. Let's get back and let's get him pumped in. Come here, Warthog. Oh, I recolored him, by the way, both of them. I thought they needed a little bit, you know, more, uh, pizzazz or something going on with them because they were looking awful i i it's embarrassing to see how bad they looked honestly um but i think this is way better because this one's a dual rage type so i think it's pretty cool anyway let's go ahead oh i gotta get more god eggs all right let's do you first um i can still throw a cracker even though it's not necessary i think we'll be okay all right um create warthog god Come here, bro. We get we gotta hurry up, hurry up. Get that bubble going. Alright. And you doing good, my bud? Alright, let's go ahead. Give him a second. And once he gets close, we'll get our rampage on. Rampage. Yeah! Alright. Gotta make sure to hit. Come on. Let's go. I haven't hit him once. I should have waited. Oh, look at that damage. Good God. Don't throw poo at my guy. It's not cool. That is crazy. All right. We're... Oh, that's protector we're looking at right now. I was going to say. I was like, whoa. 
Yeah, it's nice little chunks. Come on. Get over here. Yeah, that went up a lot. Look at the damage we're doing. It's insane. And boom. Got him. That was a huge boost. Oh, it still sucks, though, that I cannot harvest them. Well, I think every creature should be able to harvest other creatures. You know, they could just make it so that it, like, disappears the body. But anyway, ancient. Love it. That is the biggest boost. Oh, look at you. You're so happy. All right. So that all being said, should we go ahead and just quickly take on the saddle form since he's out? Let's go ahead, scoop him up. Just make sure all the stats are properly done. All right, you good, bro? You good? You ready? All right, let's wait for uh, the cooldown to happen. So you know what? While that's going on, you can just chill here. We'll let the cooldown continue. And let's go take on the Yudi guy. You're on passive, right? Let's just in case. Uh, let's put a stone into him just so he doesn't move. All right, cool. Titan. All right, let's go. I think he looks a lot better after being colored. I went with, uh, because his parents was, uh, you know, he had blue from Nova Strike, but then he's a Colossus now, so we got the green. I think it's a nice, a nice fair trade-off. All right, come on. And go! Oh, I love that. All right. Match up! Oh, epic! All right, and finally, ancient. Beautiful. All right, we got both our guys ancient. That is pretty dang sweet. Let's go ahead, pick you up, and is our little warthog doing okay? You doing all right, buddy, bro? All right. So, um, let's go ahead, toss the stone back out, and I have to reposition all these guys just because they're a little too close. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Holy crap. All right, so we're ancient now. This should be interesting. We got our protector up, so if he does it, it's going to give element sickness. We're getting the curses being done automatically by the parasaur. All right, buddy, bro. Let's go. Let's go. We want to wait till he gets real close to do our... All right. Good enough. Go! Yeah! Dude, we one-shot him. Holy crap. That is amazing. We're still stuck, though. All right. So, check out our new saddle. It is epic. Let me get it all, all colored up and everything, and then we can see. I don't know. Is it going to be any good? All right. There we have it. Our beautiful ancient warthog. Probably the strongest guy that we got today. Our new saddle, it throws void grenades. I don't know if that means we have to put void grenades in it for it to throw or if it just automatically gets it. I hope it automatically gets it. We'll find out in a second. It says 75% damage reduction while drunk, 300% increased melee while drunk, immune to damage impulse, that means being knocked back, and then 5% chance dealing damage stones enemies, and 1000% ability damage to resource variants. So, um, what was that again? 1000 uh, ability damage, okay. So that guy's not a resource, but where that would be cool is on Metallica, who is a resource variant. So, you know, kind of neat. I'm assuming that's where it came from. It's too bad it doesn't give it a resource type. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's try it out. Let's let's first see what he's like without uh, anything, without drinking that, and then we can try it with. So what's going on? Wow, look at that damage. Pretty good. Let's try and find guys by themselves. Oh, yep. Whoa, dude. Dude. What just happened? Do you see that? And it picked up all that stuff. 
You got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. All right. Um, <laughs> that is so neat. All right. He's so funny the way he snorts. Um, this might be bad. What I'm about about to do. I don't know if someone's over here clearing already. It doesn't look too happening. But um, let's try that. Uh, there we go. Am I am I drunk? Does it even say the damage there? Oh yeah, look at the damage. Good God. Good God. Oh, I can't throw when I'm in the water. That sucks. Dang it, I'm wasting my rampage again. Come here. Throw it. That is so neat. That is so incredibly neat. Come here. Whoa, did you see that damage? Like, this is only 30 Paragons, and it's doing that much. Oh, I'm losing it. I, I need to, like, be fighting bosses or something, but that was insane. That was insane, the amount it did with such few Paragons. Oh, this guy's going to be awesome. Um, I, And it's not, like, a particularly insane one, either. Good God. I really, really like it. Wow. Oh, will it harvest the Bronto? Yes, it did. Oh, you know how we can't harvest? Well, this... The, this will harvest everything for me. After it gets them. Got them all. And then pulls it all back into me. That's what it is. How it has like the secondary thing. That's so that the first one is gonna... Gonna kiss them. And then the second one... Is what harvests it for us. That's really neat. I could see how it could be annoying too, but I don't know. Maybe if we turned off the resource collection, maybe it wouldn't actually do it. But yeah, this guy is a harvesting king. That's for sure. It's insane. All right, let's go ahead down here. Oh, I can't throw while I'm... All right, I got to get used to all the intricacies of this guy. All right, throw it, throw it. And that gets me to full rampage instantly. That's really cool. All right, so, uh, but it's already dropping. Okay, but I do see, wow, the damage though. Is that two billion? Holy crap. That's a lot of damage. And that's only 30 paragons. Holy. My goodness, that uh, that piggy pig is quite spectacular. I actually hit something for seven billion with it. Yes, billion with just 30 paragons. It's it's quite crazy. So I think it would also be pretty cool for uh, when we take on bosses and stuff, you know, like a different lucky gods. I'm a little worried about it picking up stuff and getting filled, but beyond that, I don't know. It seems like it would be pretty cool. Let's go over here and do our little... Bow! Look at that. Big damage, baby. Real big damage. But um, anyway, I love our new hybrids. I think they are so incredibly cool. Um, oh, hello. Let's me take us out, though. Uh, I want to show you what I've been doing. The farming, how our farming against all the lucky gods and everything goes. Um, let me show you how good our guys are now. It is insane. And we've got a setup where I can do it all solo if I want. So let's have a look-see at it. All right, check out the setup now, guys. Now, we're about to do just bosses, so I don't want to have uh, the pygmies out because they can get hit with uh, with boss fire from dragons, Megapithecus stones. It can actually hit them in the ground, the Prolovias. So normally they would be here too. But other than that, here's pretty much my setup. Uh, we got the same pair sword to do help with the curses. Um, the mammoth's going to do most of the reaching and killing. But then uh, I have the other guys out to help with Gorgoning and, you know, extra damage. We have now three solars. Yes, I brought up our the solar we bred with today to make the hybrid. Um... 
I brought it up to Ancient and 50 Paragons. We had Nightmare running at 100, and I'm either going to let Warthog uh, try it out. Now, each of these guys are on aggressive, far targeting, and they have a stone in them, so they cannot, um, you know, they can't be pushed around. Or, yeah, they'll stay put even when on aggressive. So, what I got, and I'm probably not going to show every last one, but let's go ahead. These are all Paragon guys. Yeah. 88 of them. Let's go ahead and change spawn timer. Let's do it to one. All right, beautiful. And let's go ahead and we're going to rank them up. So choose soul type, boss, max tier. We're at basic, so we're going to do beta. And here we go. Summon bosses. Let's see how it works out. And here it is. Get wrecked! So, I'm not even attacking right now. I can pretty much just sit back and relax, and all the guys, they'll take care of it all for us. Absolute insanity. But if I want to, I can get in on it. Isn't that epic? Boom! Oh! So, yeah, this is how we're getting all of our Paragons now. Every single one of these guys that I defeat will drop a Paragon. Every single one. Then, once we're done ranking them up... See, hear all those Paragons ringing down there? Once we get them all ranked up, um, we'll get, like, I don't know, like, what, 50, 60 from an endless Paragon guy? Paragon uh, God, which is called the Paragon Monster, technically. It's just absolutely insane. So this is what we're doing to get Paragons now. Yeah, it's a lot faster than doing quests or anything. The only problem is they're completely random. You never know what you're going to get. So if you're trying to specialize in something, sometimes quests can still be helpful. But yes, we got 88 of these guys. Is that all of them? My goodness. All right, let's uh jump on off. Let's get them picked up. All the shenanigans. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And that was them at basic. But I'm just going to keep on going all the way up. But just wanted to show you that. And this is kind of our crew that we're running with. It does absolutely amazing. And I can easily run it with just myself. I don't even need help with it at this point. The gods, it's nice to have health. But absolutely not required. But the key to this all is having our ancient copy, which can feed... Yes, can feed the stamp potions over to our protector. So pretty sweet. And I wonder what type of Paragons I got. Most of them were already sent home. But hey, look at that. Another Bezel Buffo. Megatherium. All over the place. So pretty cool. Anyway, on that note, I know Mad Dog wanted to show me something real quick. But after that, let's go through those comments. All right. That was pretty epic. We did pretty dang well just to show you. Yeah. Um... We got a total of 628 Paragons from doing that. I didn't even bring them all the way to Endless yet. Yeah, this is before we take on the gods. So um, we're going to be overflowing this once the god time comes. But yeah, I've already looked through a couple of different guys. We got so much. It is so awesome. I absolutely adore, adore all of our epic guys now. But anyway, yes, it is that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button. And yeah, just comment down below. It is just that easy. Oh, 
Anyway, for today, we've got our Spino, which will be named. It was Morrow. It is Skeletor. Love it. Doomsday is going to get it to keep his name. Doomsday. We have Leonardo da Vinci. Very cool. We have Chernobyl. Epic for our uranium. And then our other new direwolf. I can't remember if we tamed it last time or the time before, but it is now going to be called Mad Dogs mad doggo i love it and also mad dog left over here the ancient edward and he said dmac it's ready for the last five paragons to get it to paragon 100 yet another one completed we're getting pretty far and quite a few guys now so pretty exciting especially after this next session i'll probably do all of it um you know in between episodes but it's going to be exciting to see what new epic guys we're going to have all the way at paragon 100 or even just to 50 so we'll have to really start pumping in. But anyway, guys, thank you so very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As you always do, please remember to show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.